Tonight, there's growing speculation about a potential consolidation of Liberty High School with Robert Seabird High School. 12 News, Barbara Ron has been following the story all day. She joins us now live here in the studio with the latest on this. Barbara. Don, today we received messages from faculty, students, and families expressing their concerns about what a potential consolidation of their school might look like. Last week, Harrison County Superintendent Dora Stutler held what she called a, quote, informal meeting with the faculty senate chairs for Liberty and RCB about a merger, what it could look like. Today, I spoke over the phone with the faculty senate chair from Liberty, Fred Ware, about the uncertainty surrounding the school. Pretty much. I have not seen anything in writing, and I can't find anything in the, in the, the county's 10-year plan for anything like that. So, uh, yeah, that's, that could be what, what could be accurate. Um, very first thing I asked her when we met, uh, how do we stop this? And, well, what is the this? Uh, then we discussed that, well, you know, when things come up, you can stop votes and not have them, or you can win them. The superintendent told 12 News there are multiple steps required to close down a school, including approval by the state school board, closure hearings on the specific buildings, and a vote by the school board. Stutler told us the board has not voted on anything as of yet. She spoke with us over the phone and said, quote, I've got five board members, and until they get the information that they need, I couldn't even guess because I don't even know what's coming. She added, I wouldn't even venture a guess on what direction we're heading at this moment. There will be a public work session on Thursday at 5 p.m., where architects and engineers who have been tasked to analyze facilities across the county can answer the public's questions. Reporting from the studio for 12 News, I'm Barbara Vaughn.